Hey guys, uh, welcome back. This is History of Power Rangers Season 3, Episode 35 of my show. But this is going to be a character bio video on the five equation rangers plus the, um, explaining who their main enemy is going to be at the end of this uh, segment of the third season. So this is technically still a Season 3 video, so I'm going to mark it as that. Just so people don't get confused on YouTube. I just wanted to get that out of the way. Um, but anyway, this is History of Power Rangers Season 3, Episode 35 of my show. But as I stated, this is going to be a character bio video on the five uh, new rangers that get introduced in the, in the Mighty Morphing Alien Rangers segment of Season 3. So... This is going to still count as a season 3 video. Anyway. But before I just start doing the character bio for them, I just want to mention something. The Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers segment takes place after the events of the main segment. So this is still sort of a continuation of season 3. So that's why I'll mark it as that. Anyway. Uh, now I'm going to start talking about the Rangers... The Alien Rangers of Aquitar in chronological order. Uh, first, starting with the White Ranger. The White Equation Ranger is known as Delphine, and she's basically... Oh, before I start, I should explain. Uh, these five rangers in come from a, a water planet in the Power Rangers series from called... Aquatar, which is why the first two episodes of this minor uh, of this mini saga segment of season three is known as uh, Alien Rangers of Aquatar. Anyway, that's just the last part of it that I just wanted to get out of the way before I got into it. Anyway, Delphine is the white equation ranger for the Alien Rangers, and she's basically the one that leads them. Now, basically, the Equation Rangers, uh, they basically have the same, uh, powers as the Rangers of Earth, except they're from a planet that is mostly, that is entirely encased in water, so they need to be hydrated constantly in order to survive. Um, I just wanted to get that out of the way, and Basically, as I said, Delphine is the one that leads them. And then basically, uh, that's going to sort of be it or her. Because basically, for most of this series, up until the uh, two-part finale of season three, um... The only reason the Alien Rangers are in this season as the Rangers for this segment is because um, Master Vile has succeeded in using the Orb of Doom to turn the planet back. So there's no Rangers in order to protect it, so they need to have... So so that's why they, that Zordon and Alpha called on them in this segment of the series. Anyway... I just wanted to get that out of the way there. I'll mention that again in the next video I do. But anyway, um, the next uh, of these um, rangers that I'm going to explain about, and I'll explain who their main enemy is uh, when I get to the ending of this part. Um, and next one I'm going to talk about is uh, Cestro. Now, Cestro is the... Blue Equation Ranger, and he's basically the Aquatar equivalent of uh, Billy, I guess you could say, because in this series, because he's a he's the smarts, like the sort of the brains of of the Equation Rangers, and like he's smart like Billy is, and helps with building inventions and stuff, and um. Basically, he's the only one, well, the Equation Rangers, I'm going to explain uh, something. 
Uh, they will last for the entirety of the mini saga segment. Uh, plus, um, it will. Plus, they'll be featured again in Zio technically twice. Um, well, three times because the second time will be a part of a two part episode. And then after Zio, the only time the Alien Rangers will be in. Power Rangers again will be in season 10 in the Forever Red episode. I just wanted to get that out of the way there. Anyway, um. Now, uh, now I'm gonna explain about the Yellow Ranger. Now, the Yellow Ranger, unlike the Rangers of Earth for the first, uh, for the original series, in the Mighty Morphin Alien Ranger, the Alien Ranger, who is the yellow one, is a blue one, uh, is a male. It's named Titus, and and he's the yellow ranger for their group. Uh, so, and that's all I'm gonna say about them because him because uh the others don't actually show up much aside from Sestro and stuff I, I that's why I didn't want to mention too much anyway about these last thing now the black ranger in the, the alien rangers group is known as Corcus and the red ranger is known as And the Red Ranger is known as Oracle. Now I'm going to explain something. Like I said, the only reason these Rangers are going to be the primary protagonists for this segment of the third season is mainly because of Master Vile turning back time and turning the Earth's population back into children again. Which is why the Rangers don't have their powers and stuff. Well, the Earth Rangers, anyway. Um, basically, that's all. And anyway, uh, I'm just gonna explain who the who the Alien Rangers' main enemy is. Now, for most of this segment of the third season, the main enemy of the Alien Rangers is the same enemy that the original Rangers have. So it's Lord Zed and Rita, but in the two-part season finale for season three, and in one of the other episodes, I think it's uh, the one that comes before Sowing the Seeds of Evil, I think it's episode seven, um, Sestro mentions, uh, because Billy inquires about if there are beings like Lord Zed on Aquatar, and that's when Sestro explains to him that there is, and the one that he's referring to is a being, a, a powerful being on their world known as uh, the Emperor of the Dark Waters. Now, that being is known as Hydro Hog. Now, the reason why he's called Hydro Hog is because he has the ability to basically suck up all the water on every type of planet. And... He technically shows up in uh, the second uh, last episode before the two-part episode, which is the actual season finale, but he doesn't uh, show up in season three as one of the antagonists until the two-part season finale, which ironically, this is going to sound kind of ironic about it, but... The irony of it is the two the actual two part season finale for season three is known as Hog Day Afternoon, uh, which I think is sort of a reference because you know he's the Hydra Hog. Um, so anyway, and now I'm, there's just one last thing I'm gonna cover here. 
the main human rangers that have been turned into children at this point, they will have a relevant uh, impact on the storyline of the mini saga segment because basically what they're going to be doing is trying to keep the alien rangers hydrated until their world is free again and then basically they're also going to go to different points in time uh, to recover their fragments of the zeal crystal that they shattered and sent through a time hole anyway that's going to that's going to basically cover all of this video guys um so, so if you guys like this video when i post it just please give this video the real best you guys can and i will see you guys next time for the first for part one of the of the first episode of the mighty morphing alien rangers segment but until then guys like i always tell you with this series may the power protect you always